Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out the skills of Natalia, guys. Now we're gonna see and test all her skills in action. But for now, let's go check out her passive skill, Arcane Fire. And it says, abilities deal additional damage to enemies and can be stopped up to 10 times within a short time. Now first off, guys, is her first skill, Arcane Spirits. And it says, Natalia fires 5 Arcane Spirits towards the target area. Each spirit deals 550 magic damage to enemies within. When an enemy is hit by multiple spirits, each additional spirit only deals 30% damage. Spirits stop traveling when they hit an enemy hero. So let's go check it out in action, guys. And as you can see guys, it has a 5 second cooldown but uh, we can buy items that can lessen the cooldown for this skill. And next up guys is her second skill, Arcane Nova. Natalia casts an Arcane Orb towards the specified direction. When the orb touches an enemy guys or reaches the end of its path, it becomes an Arcane Nova and stuns enemies hit for one second then the orb grows in size and flies slowly to deal 205 magic damage each time it comes into contact with an enemy reducing their movement speed by 50 percent for 1.5 seconds now let's go check it out in action guys and there we go guys it's also a cc skill and i bet it's great on clashes wherein the orb stuns a lot of opponents. Now next up guys is her third and ultimate skill, Lethal Rays. And it says Natalia commands Poison Fang to release Lethal Rays, dealing 180 magic damage every 0.25 seconds to enemies. While channeling guys, Natalia gains a shield that absorbs 800 damage and Natalia is immune to crowd control effects while this shield's last channeling can be cancelled after one second by using this ability again. Now let's go check it out in action, guys. Now you're immune to crowd control skills, guys, while you have that shield on. And how awesome is that? Also, you can absorb damage, around 800 damage. So if you've ever played uh, Mobile Legends before, I guess it's like Gord. And you can move the direction of the ray. But with, with Natalia, guys, you're immune to crowd control skills. And that's really awesome. I guess it's a really great skill when most of the opponents are clamped together. Now, next up, guys, is we're gonna check out the basic tip for Natalia's gameplay. And it says... Use Natalia's ability in quick succession so that her passive ability effects will be maximized and deal the most damage. And that's it guys, we just wanted to show you the skills of Natalia in action. Thanks!